This is Carl Valeri with the PilotReport.com, and today we're here with Jeff from V1 Clothing, lifestyle clothing, and it's uh, for aviation enthusiasts and also folks that are into different things like motocross and skiing and surfboarding and stuff like that. Jeff, this is this is a terrific uh, line of clothing you have here, and uh, while we're talking, we'll we'll go over your website. But where did you get the inspiration to do this? To do this uh, type of lifestyle, aviation lifestyle clothing. Well, thank you for the uh, cool comments. Um, basically, V1 came from a lifestyle that I live. Um, you know, I loved action sports as a child. I grew up playing soccer, did motocross, surfed, skate, did all that stuff, and all those industries had their own lifestyle. But us as aviators, we didn't have anything except, you know, some shirts with a Cessna product on it or something that I wasn't interested in wearing and, and saying I'm a pilot because I have a Cessna shirt. So I went ahead and uh, took my inspiration from growing up and doing the sports I did and bring a little something cool back to uh, aviation. And it uh, seems that everyone likes what I do, so I keep doing it. Yeah, I, I think it's great, and uh, one of the reasons that I, it appeals to me, and I'm sure to some of our listeners, is that it it's something you can wear and uh, you know just not be called an airplane geek. You can anybody can actually uh, wear this and can be stylish, and and some of the designs are really a lot of fun. Let's start off though by by telling people where they can find this. Uh, it's uh, your V1 clothing, but uh, your main retailer is uh, AirspeedJunkie.com. And uh, let's just take a look at some of these designs. I think some of these are terrific. Uh, the first one, does the you have this this skull with these uh, these props on it, and uh, it's, it looks a little scary, but it, it's kind of neat. Where did you come up with the inspiration for this one? Well, you know, we all start out in props, you know, and then we eventually go to jets. Um, I just wanted something a little edgy, something different than everyone else, you know, like an attitude indicator. That's a, that's all right, but you know, I just need something a little edgier. So. I decided to take some a skull, which is a kind of a scary, edgy thing, and then put some props to it, which relates to everybody because we've all done it, and uh, put the two together, and this is what we get. You know, it's kind of like a those affliction shirts, um, tap out stuff like that. That's kind of a edgy angle I was going for. Cool. You know, the the next one I see here is uh, Live to Fly. Kind of has a cross and some uh, wings on there. It seems like a, a bit of a Christian theme. Yep, that's exactly where it came from. It, it kind of um, put the sacrifice and, and the stuff we do as pilots to be professional pilots is that we give up a lot and becomes a lifestyle. And, you know, a lot of pilots are religious, and that's where the cross came from, and the scroll and, and just the live-to-fly point really means something. It means that that's what we do. We're passionate about it, and that's one of the most popular shirts we make. This one's uh, flying is freedom of the lost souls, and uh, if you're a pilot, especially if you fly jets, is uh, is a true statement. We're uh, we're pretty much uh, vagabonds of the air, and we just um, we just go out and fly and be on our own, and then we come back and try to have a uh, normal life. But that's the uh, lost soul is was we're always trying to go, we're trying to get out and then come back. <laughs> and our listeners that are uh, airline pilots can attest to that. Uh, one of the designs that actually was the thing that struck me uh, the most when I saw this is just one. It says V1 clothing, and there's a, a wings and your V1 design. I thought, and then there's this airplane. I think this is really cool. And where where did you get the inspiration for this one? This one I was kind of looking. You know, I went with the edgy stuff first, and then I had to bring it back just a little bit, kind of more conservative because. There's different types of pilots, you know, you've got the real religious, you've got the real guys that are, you know, on point, and then there's, you know, just kind of medium the road guys, and that's where I came up with this shirt, where we just kind of put a jet with our cool logo on it, and kind of like a, an Atari-looking uh, V1 clothing on there. But that's basically how that one came across, was have that uh, airliner come flying through there. Uh, the Skull Flyer is uh, definitely another edgy edgy aviation um, guy. It's kind of uh, got the skull with the av aviation cap and the, the uh, gnarly wings. So we're just putting it out there so if you want to go ride your Harley or you know go out on your boat and look cool, this is the way to do it. It's very similar to a tap out or a, a Affliction shirt. Alright, this shirt um, it's got the angels on it and uh, you know since we're so close to God and angels that's why I put it on this shirt and the green is just I thought it was a cool color and it 
obviously everyone else thinks it's pretty cool because when I wear it out, everyone's like, where'd you get that shirt? Love that shirt. Can I get one? I, that was a limited edition for quite some time, and then it just became popular, and now we obviously have it in stock. Now, that's a limited edition. This one that we're looking at now is just a, a standard edition. Yeah, I brought the uh, same design, just different colors. Went with a darker blue shirt with a uh, nice silver-gray look to it. Um, just kind of tone it down just a little bit, but uh, I just kept the angels in there. It's uh, basically a man with big wings on it standing uh, with his arms up. The one design that I I think is probably, to me, your definitive design or the one that really kind of brought me to this website is uh, is the V1 clothing with uh, uh, the, the skull the, the and uh, and the propeller. And this one has a lot of different colors in it. Mm -hmm. Well, I got to tell you, that, that design is actually really popular with helicopter pilots and also uh, airboat people that enjoy that. Um, Prop says a lot to a lot of people, and, and that's where this is, design has gone. It came from, you know, simple flying a little Cessna around in our training to something cool and edgy. Well, this this isn't just uh, for men. There's some really uh, cool shirts that uh, for women, and my my favorite design out there for women is the uh, the nautical design, and that's uh, there's one that's that doesn't stand out as much, the blue, and uh, it looks like it has uh, compass rose on there. Yeah, basically it is a compass rose with a little flare into it. It's got some planes in it, but that original design was very, very busy. It went all over the shirt, and it, we kind of just knocked it down to what you see now, which is that nice blue uh, that comes off the black shirt, that contact blue that we've been using. The same design with pink, and that is actually a very popular shirt. And You know, we designed girl shirts. As I'd like to get in the industry. We, we know there's a lot of women in aviation, um, but they don't really shop for themselves so mainly this is for you guys to come out and get these things for your girlfriends or your wives um, or even your you know young daughters it, it, it uh, caters to them as well this is neat it's called radar contact tell us a little bit about this one uh, this one I was uh, actually flying along and uh, designed it while I was, I was cruising um, talking to the controllers ATC so uh, basically it's a uh, radar screen a green radar screen uh, inside of that it's got airplanes uh, that you know north south east west as well as a heart shaped design that you can't really see unless someone tells you about it but uh, it's a really cool shirt and it's like a black shirt with a uh, bright green on it on here also the girl shirts it's not on the website yet because this shirt came after we did this um, photo shoot is the uh, live to fly shirt so it's basically the live to fly guy shirt on a girl's v-neck um, the people I've tried it out on so far, they love it because it's a V-neck. So we'll be going to V-necks here shortly with everything. You also have, I guess, uh, some hats that you've designed that uh, actually you're wearing one today. Um, and that's uh, the one that you have on today is the solid white with the, the skull and prop on there. Tell us a little bit about these designs. Yeah, I took the uh, skull prop shirt design and uh, stuck it on a hat. Um, like I said, people love this hat. Uh, definitely makes you stand out in the crowd. Um, tells you, you know, hey, I, I think I'm cool, and, and I'm going to tell you about it. Uh, so that's the skull prop. I'm wearing one right now. I love it. People just come up to me all the time and ask me about it, and, and uh, yeah, we got some different colors coming out as well. So, okay, you have that, the skull and prop. You also have the uh, the other hats you have are what, the, the logo design? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just the logo. Um, I don't know if much, many people know what actually V1 means, but there's actually a meaning behind it. And uh, it's if you just look at it, it's V1. You're fully committed uh, once you make that speed. It's a speed at which you know you bring an aircraft to that um, if something was to happen, you got to continue. If you're on fire or you lose an engine or whatever, you are fully committed on taking that plane in the air and uh, coming back around and dealing with the emergency. So that's where that logo actually comes from. Um, so I decided to put that on the hat to say, hey, I'm committed to what I do, V1. So also uh, on Airspeed Junkie, there's some other V1 uh, apparel products and some bags and tags that you have here. And I noticed you have here the uh, the crew bag. The uh, V1 Pro Pack, which is a backpack with a cooler on the bottom of it. We have Christy here, going to demo it for us. Uh, Christy, go ahead and open up the front pocket. There's a bunch of stuff in there. but. That pocket's designed to hold pretty much anything that you need. You got the license, you got the five hour energy, you got the sunglasses, you got the uh, area for the 
iPad or whatever else you need, your pens, anything else you need to carry. And below that, I know you can't see it, but below that there's actually a little area that can hold more stuff. There's more wires and connectors and whatever else you need. So that's that pocket. Now on the side, over to Christie's right, there's a little pocket there to put, if you want your passports or anything like that, there's plenty of room for your passport licenses and whatnot. Now the top of it is the uh, main compartment. It's protected with, with uh, two insulations, one in the front, one in the center to divide it up. Holds more than you'll ever need to carry as a pilot. You've got your laptop, got a headset. Um, it actually will carry a couple books if you need to. Um, so, and then it has a little connector there where you can hang your keys, your flashlight. You know, as a pilot, you always need a flashlight just in case. Um, it's pretty much a regular backpack up top, um, but it's uh, insulated and protected well for your uh, computers and whatnot. I have the top handle up there by her hand is uh, a handle you can carry it and, and drag it with your roller bag or uh, just kind of chuck it around. When you're not using it, it has Velcro on that side and it actually will lay down um, on the other side. There you go. See the Velcro? Right there. Now on the back of the bag, you can turn around. See it's only got one strap out. The other strap's hidden in there. You can actually hide both straps inside when you're not using it as a backpack. So when you're in your pilot uniform or, or whatever, um, you want to look professional, you actually just hide it in there, and now it's just a regular duffel bag. Now that strip on the back, kind of by her wrist right now, um, that is designed to uh, go over your roller bag. So when you're, uh, you're traveling with your roller bag and you need this, you can just roll it right on top, um, as well as hook it from the uh, top strap. Now, if you turn the bag around a little bit more, there's that handle right there. So when the backpack straps are hidden, you can use it as the duffel bag, as I was saying before. And that's about what that strap does. Now, on the uh, bottom of the cooler, or the backpack, is the cooler. So if she opens that up, mine's obviously been used, so it's going to be a little dirty, and there's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in there. So it does get used. <laughs> Might have been in there for a couple of days. But uh, that's the cooler. It holds at least a six-pack of, you know, if you can envision that, Coke or whatever else you want to put in there. Um, and it'll keep it cool. Um, this, the pocket right before that, she opens that up. There's, uh, pull that cloth out. It's actually Velcroed in there, but you can pull it out if you want. And uh, lay it down if you want to. You know, have a picnic or while you're flying along, put it over your pants so you don't get your pants dirty or greasy or whatever you're eating. Um, of course, you don't have to fold it back up if you don't want to. <laughs> you can just stuff it back in there. But the bag's made out of ballistic nylon. It's very tough. That bag we're demoing right now, I use about every day for the last uh, year and a half. So what you see of getting beat up going through TSA, going in, you know, general aviation airplanes, just going out in general, that backpack's used. So... That's what it looks like after about a year and a half of everyday use. Okay, now I'm in the cockpit, and I want to place this down somewhere. How much room does it take uh, up uh, when you actually put it down? Because that's sometimes you see these people that bring these humongous bags into the cockpit, and there's no room for anything in there. Yeah, for the size that you, most people are usually seeing, you can put two or three of these bags there. Um, it's It looks small, but it actually holds a ton. Um, you can, you know, if you're a captain, it sits over on your side. If you're an FO, it sits on that side. It sits in the bag area. Um, it, it's a very versatile bag. And if you're eating, you know, as, as an airline pilot, is there's never a, a breakfast at 8 o'clock and a lunch at 12 and a dinner at 5. It just, those times are not there. So that's why this backpack works. Works for everybody, even your, your child at school. They can carry their books with them and have their lunch without having two bags. Well, that's cool. It's a pretty versatile bag, and I, I do like the V1 logo on there. Now, let's stick with V1 for now, and then we'll talk a little bit more about Airspeed Junkie. Anything else in the works? Anything you want to announce today or that uh, you're thinking about coming out with in the future? Of course, we're going to come out with some more cool shirts. Um, that's always in the design uh, phases. It's just uh, the process of going through it. Um, the bags, we're coming out with a bunch of really cool bags. I'm not going to let all the... Uh, uh, it all out right now but um, there'll be some roller bags um, there'll be some versatile roller bags which it'll have obviously a cooler of some sort um, 
it'll roll. Maybe it'll be a, a day bag into a three day bag kind of thing. Um, a lot of cool stuff that, that uh, is coming out in the design table right now. The um, other part of your website, Airspeed Junkie, where most of these are sold, of course you have other outlets, uh, Pilot Mall and some other uh, retail establishments, but uh, one of the main places you can go is Airspeed Junkie. You have other things besides V1. What what other things can they get at this website, and what what's unique about those products? Um Mainly what we'll do is uh, we do the plaques, um, you know, achievement plaques. If you get your, you know, uh, CFI or your instrument rating, obviously you're very proud of that, and sometimes people cut your shirts for that. But uh, we make plaques. They're mainly for gifts. Um, we had one lady just recently for her for um, her grandson bought probably a handful of these plaques, and they're all custom-made for them. They had the basic design, but whatever wording she wants, uh, we can do that instantly. So um, the plaques are, are there, and they're really cool. We're coming out with new ones every day. Now, let's talk about service and support. Someone gets a product they're not real happy with. Uh, how do you back that up? Well, uh, here's another example. Um, the other day, someone bought a V1 hat, black with a prop skull. I went ahead and sent it out, and uh, it was small instead of large, extra large. I uh, wrote him back. I said, well, how about we, uh, you send it back. I'll send you your correct hat back and a shirt for shipping it back to me. He ended up, his wife ended up liking a hat, fit her head. He bought another hat and then bought another three shirts. So we're just trying to work with you. We're not we're not trying to make money on the shipping or anything like that. We really want, believe in what we do and, and uh, we really want you to wear it as a lifestyle. So where can they actually buy this product besides the Airspeed Junkie? Because I know you have some other retail establishments. Yeah, we got a we got a lot of people, but uh, Pilot Mall is the main one um, that we use. We really like them. Uh, they're really cool, cool people there at Pilot Mall. But you can get it at uh, Crew Outfitters, um, Aircraft Spruce, uh, My Pilot Store. Um, I'm probably forgetting a few. There's uh, Banyan Air. Uh, let's see, Air Orlando, um, Av Shop. I think I'm probably uh, forgetting a few, but uh, pretty much any anybody. Anything else you want to say to our listeners about this product before we uh, let you go? Uh, thanks for everyone's time, and I uh, hope you uh, check out our products, and, and I'm sure you're going to like them. So where can they get in touch with you? You can go to v1clothing.com or airspeedjunkie.com. This is Carl Valeri, and you've been watching thepilotreport.com. For more information about V1 Clothing, and other products, come visit us at thepilotreport.com.